Hello, this is an exciting look at Deepen 15.4 Beta. It was released today. It's based on Debian as user and oh my goodness. You must see the settings, the setting panel. It took my breath away. Literally, I nearly died. No, I'm just joking. But let's have a look. Let's just go to the panel. You can see there's two modes, the fashion mode and the efficient mode. Let's go to location, top, bottom, you get a drift, you can go left and right also, very cool. Size, large. medium and small let's go back to end status keep shown smart height and keep it in let's keep it to the bottom let's go back to fashion mode because I love this look of it and let's quickly look at the desktop. We can make new folders, new documents, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and text. Let's make a Word document. It got VPS pre installed. Sort by name, time, size, and type. Auto arrangement, select all. Open a terminal and look at this terminal. New window, obvious. Switch theme, they got even more than one theme. They got billions of themes. So let's go for a nice grey one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then let's go for custom commands. You can make your own commands and edit them. Isn't this? Our terminal should be remote management settings. Just look at the stuff. If you guys ever saw a terminal with so many settings, it's about deepened version 2.1. The bad thing about deepened is like a slow repositories. Downloading updates is so slow. But beside from that, oh my goodness, property, desktop, of course. <laughs> Display settings, and this is the first look at the display settings. You will see more soon. The settings, isn't that so cool? It looks like, oh my wow, oh my wow. Corner settings. You can make it a launcher. Let's go back to corner settings and make this control center. And let's go to set wallpaper. Still the same as 15.3, many of them. I noticed. Look at this. This is so beautiful, the Sphinx. That's all the right hand links, more than enough awesomeness. Now let's go to the recyclable, let's go for this panel here. Time and calendar, awesome calendar. You can just click to the day back, and it's version 1.0. Internet, another glimpse of the settings. Current volume. Disk, because I'm running it in VirtualBox, so I installed guest edition, so that's the disk there. This is the screen. And now let's have a look at the settings. Let's go back here. As you see, yes, it weather automatically updated volume vpn 
and let's have a look at this darling first of all if you click here you can see like all your different options or you can just run by with your or button look at this dark theme I'm crazy about the dark theme and then you can go in here and you can change the like white and dark you can change your font I'm just running through all of this you can have a look at this absolutely takes your breath away the ones just look at this stuff guys why isn't the rest of them doing the air time and some power management look at the little cat hey system language keyboard update as I said the update is quite slow be prepared for it you have an awesome system that updates is slow you can read the license as you can see it's GNU slash Linux you can read it everything start menu you can even change it here the theme guys this is something incredible like we already looked at isn't this just absolutely something different than what we are used to, we are used to similar things and then this guy says come and do something brand new it's hype, it's beautiful in, well integrated it is absolutely stunning and you haven't even saw the best and I'm not joking the best software center in the world not just for Linux in the world I promise you they got their own apps as you see deep in movie deep in file deep in photo viewer look at this it's beauty it's pure beauty and for the software, software center, oh my goodness. What is loading? Let's just wait for it to load up. It takes a while. Like I'm not making this video faster or slower. I'm just giving my thoughts on it and oh my goodness. I wonder how these guys, where these guys get it, ideas from, how they do it. This software center, it's got so many cool apps. It puts Microsoft Office Online in the air form. It's got Library Office, it's got games, Angry Birds. I don't know how they get all these apps installed. They got developing languages. They got everything you can ever think of. They got in the software center with a one click install. I don't know how they do it. It's kind of 4.9 running on this operating system. Let's continue with the file system manager. As you can see, they have every part of the system is even more beautiful than the other one. I don't know how. Did they, 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 they do it? I don't know how. I'm not trying to promote them, I'm just blown away by s absolutely stunning things that you can see just on one click install internet. Music. 
Oh, das ist ich das Beutel für die Front. See what they are doing. They are putting up the benchmark for the rest of the world. I'm gonna show you now how easy it is easy to install Microsoft Office web on a Linux operating system. It doesn't sound real. To run Microsoft Office with a simple click, no wine, anything we here to pre-install on your computer. See, they even got pre-installed. We will have a look at it. Crossover is like wine running manually. Like one is a manual car in my eyes. It does everything you want and then crossovers automatic on the other Linux operating systems and Apple. You have to pay like 40 bucks for it. It's free on the system. I don't know how to do it. Multitasking, egg, adding windows. You can add it. Oh, maybe we one. I wonder why they're not all the same as mine, but that's okay. It's a bit of version. Maybe they got a great idea. You can even change it. Oh, you can change your wallpaper for every workspace. And this is so net. So desktop button. Wow, isn't this guy's awesome? The Microsoft is already installed. Let's quickly close it up. Start again. Look at this. Let's start. VPS, VPS, Sky 4.3. Oh, I already had a look. Deepen image viewer. Beauty. Add photos. Color mode. And I am blown away. Steam is pre-installed. Movie deepen screenshot is one of the US apps they made. Let's click enter. And there's a photo taken. Sounds are okay. Steam pre-installed deepen movie. Found the deepen feedback. It's even a feedback button. Remote existence, cloud printing, different cloud printing and scan, simple scan, uh, ISO maker, trace control, multitasking, system monitor, the familiar system monitor, nothing new. Let's go down. G parted printer settings. Key Debbie, I love it to install Debbie back in calculator. And this program, this program, ladies and gentlemen, I can't speak on my I'm a sysadmin at a university where we need office and office and other programs like that. We, as we all run Linux, and this program is absolutely incredible. It's deep in crossover 15, so it's not the latest, but hey, it's awesome. And this is what we just installed. Let's have a look to finish up this session. So you have to, of course, pay for it, but hey. It's office. Hmm. Don't ask me what it is, but in general, this is Deepen. This is an operating system that will take your breath away. Enjoy it and goodbye.
enjoy it.